Check it out. I've got a dresser in my garage. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome back to my garage one more time. Today is going to be the last uh, video in this series on the actual construction. I'll be doing one more video in the future, but today I want to go over some of the, th the finishing techniques. What do I actually do to finish this? I've spent over a year working on it and I've got a week to finish it. So what I do in this last week is going to be the culmination of everything in the year and I don't want to mess it up. So I want to go over how, what do I use, how do I apply it, what are some of the steps and uh, what are some things to know about before you jump into finishing your next project. So let's jump in and take a look at it. Okay, so I'm actually going to set this up in the garage and put things on banana boxes and hold them up. The garage is great because I have open space to work around. The fumes can um, dissipate easily and I can either open or close the garage depending upon the weather and it works out very well. For the finish, I'm using Waterlocks Original. I absolutely love this stuff. It really brings out the color and it really makes everything pop. Plus it gives a protective finish. But uh, here's the part that everyone really loves, and man, I could watch this all day long. That first coat of finish that goes onto the wood, especially with this water locks, it just, it explodes with color and life and vibrancy, and I'm just, I'm overjoyed by how this comes out. Uh, the other nice thing about water locks is it gives a film finish unlike boiled linseed oil. Um, the boiled linseed oil is fantastic for things that go in your hand, but for a, a tabletop or a dresser top or something like that where it's going to see a lot of wear, um, water locks really kind of seals it in and gives it that surface that will be durable over time. Uh, and it just goes on so easily. I'm, I'm just putting on a coat with a wool applicator. It's actually a 100% wool sock and it goes on really quickly. You can put it on nice and thick and it will seal in. You don't have to worry about being really particular on this surface. In between each coat, I like to hit it with a, uh, um, a very high grit sanding block. I think this is like a 300 grit sanding block. Just a, a quick couple passes and then I'll come back and clean it off with a microfiber cloth here in a little bit to get rid of the dust. And then it's on to the next coat. And because this soaks in so much, the first couple coats um, every time you put it in, you get to see the color explode again, and I love that. Uh, just the way this comes together with all this figure in the wood, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, one of my all-time favorite finishes, and this makes a year and a half worth of work um, very, very worth it. Now, I'm going to be putting on most everything, um, two coats on every surface minimum. Um, and most of the surfaces that soak in a lot more, like the drawer bottoms, I'm actually going to end up putting three coats on. Um, the top and show faces, I'm going to be putting four coats on. So I kind of, kind of work through it in that process. Um, but you really only need about three coats to get a good, solid, clear finish that uh, you can like. Uh, then after uh, sanding, um, I will go through the microfiber cloth, which I'll show you here in a minute. But here you can see it's basically just a, a quick pass with a sanding block in between anything. Nothing aggressive, nothing with a heavy push, just knocking off all the high, high points. Um, I'll leave a link to this uh, micro cloth. Um, I don't know if I can get this one on, online, but there's others very similar to it. Some people use a tack cloth. Um, they, uh, they all work very well, just getting the dust off for the next coat. And here you can see the final coat of the water locks. It just explodes with this figure and ah, ah, I love this. This is just, this is, this is, this is woodworking and why I enjoy it so much. So now that it's all done, let's put some hardware on. I'm putting the handles on and I went through all of the hardware in the last video, but uh, here I, I take it off for the finish and then put it back on. I'm really, really happy with these figure eight clips. They are extremely heavy duty and uh, they, they work very well for this. I can actually lift up the dresser from the top. Uh, these uh, backstops, I'm liking them as well. Uh, just a little bit different, something I'm kind of playing with in this dresser, and we'll see over time how much I actually like them, but uh, for right now, they're good. Now, for all of the sliding surfaces on the drawers, um, I'm putting on paste wax, and I'll leave a link to the wax I use down below, uh, but I'm putting it on all the sides of the drawers and then all of the bottoms, anywhere where it will rub on the carcass, and then, of course, on the carcass on all of the surfaces that it will slide on as well, and the paste wax will dry and actually become a uh, fairly smooth lubricated surface that these can slide on, and even with a good bit of weight in them, they still slide very easily. Then on to the fun part. 
we can actually move it into the bedroom. The carcass is about 110 pounds, so it's with some ease you can you can fairly well pick it up and move it around. Uh, but that's without the top and drawers. So then we can uh, secure the top, and there's just uh, the figure eight clip. The second screw goes through and into the top, and then I can carry in all the drawers. Uh, with all of the drawers, this is about 250 pounds, uh, so it is not light. It is a beast, but it will last for years and years to come. And uh, I just love this moment when it all comes together and you put in all the drawers and you step back and take a look at this and see a year's worth of work. But let's see what my wife thinks. Not for long. On for the gratuitous pictures that you have to uh, have a good lighting to put online. And the best lighting and placement I could find was actually out in front of the house. So I took it apart and carried it back out. <laughs> but uh, it was well worth it because then I can see these pictures. And I am going to love this dresser for years to come. And I'm looking forward to handing it down to my kids and to their kids. And it being something that uh, we all cherish for a long, long time. So that's about it for this build. Uh, this has been an absolute blast of a series for me and something I have been seriously enjoying. Um, the water locks is a finish that I am always impressed with using. I just, I love it. It's so simple, it's so clean, it's hard to mess up and uh, just a joy. Um, if you'd like to find out more about water locks, I'll leave a link to that down below. Um, they actually have a really cool website that goes through um, how to use it and different choices of different types and uh, a great product and yeah, I like it. So um, the other thing is that I'm going to be uh, holding plans for this dresser. So if you would like to uh, get plans for that, I'll leave a link to those as well. They'll be on my website. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing if people actually like plans. I might be doing some more of those in the future. But uh, I don't know. Let me know if you'd like it. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know in the, in the uh, comments below. Um, I do answer all of those and uh, would like to hear and see what you think about this. So, yeah, that's about it for uh, this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit like. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button over here if you haven't already. Also, I want to say a thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why this channel keeps happening. If you'd like to help out with that or find out more information about Patreon, you can do so with the link right over here. Also, if you like this video, feel free to check out one of my others. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.